Hopefully you guys covered transformations, but you probably forgot, right? So what is this transformation? So there's two things you should know how to do. First of all, you should know what the parent graph is. Hopefully you guys know y equals x squared looks like that. A nice little parabola opens up. We're also known as the u-shaped graph. You guys should also know that for any function, you can create a table of values. So let's say you don't remember. Plus 2. Crap. What does that do to the graph? Now, you may have a calculator. You're not going to have a calculator. But like you can always default back to you can always default back to just using a table, right? What if we did a table of values? Just real quick. x, y. Let's plug in some numbers in for x, and let's plug in some numbers for y. So let's just do something really simple. Negative 1, 0, and 1. Now, hopefully, you guys remember that the standard table, when you plug in negative 1 and 1, So when I plug in negative 1 into x squared, what do I get? 1, right? 0, I get 0. And 1, I get 1. That's why that point looks like there, right? But when I plug in the table for x squared plus 1, so negative 1 squared is 1 plus 2 is 3. 0 squared plus 2 is 2. And 1 squared plus 2 is 3. So now this new graph, based on that transformation, if I plot those points, Looks like that. So again, what was my question? The question is, what is the transformation? So what, what, what did happen from the black graph to the blue graph? Just shift it up to, right? So if you forgot it, that's fine. Maybe just pick a couple points and see if you can identify what is it exactly is happening to the graph, right? We're obviously going to spend.